Hi everybody, welcome to my kitchen. Do inside your head distractions ever make it hard for you to listen or focus on assignments? It's like you've got a lot of different thoughts happening all at the same time, making it hard for your brain to pay attention to just one thing, the thing you're supposed to be doing right now. An overloaded mind can cause you to feel helpless and powerless. But guess what? There are simple things that you can do to train your brain and control your attention. So Jordan and I are cooking up a lesson on mindfulness. When your mind is full, it helps to be mindful. Okay, so there's mind full and there's mindful. Um, let's use the head from this game. This is Ned's head. Now, Ned has some schoolwork to do, but he can't seem to fit another thought into his head right now. His mind is full. No wonder Ned can't concentrate on his reading and math. His brain is busy thinking about all that stuff that he did a while ago and all this stuff he plans to do later. Being mindful means noticing and focusing on what is happening and what you are supposed to be doing right now instead of thinking about what has happened in the past or something that is going to happen in the future. The part of your brain that is responsible for attention is located right here behind your forehead. And you can make this stronger by practicing mindfulness activities, like paying close attention to something that you can see or hear or feel. Your breath is a great mindfulness tool because it is always with you. When you take a few minutes to focus on your breathing, you can clear your mind, calm your body, and focus your attention. But here's the thing. At first, you might mistake feeling calm for feeling bored and your thoughts might bounce around a bit. That's totally normal. So don't give up. If you make mindful breathing a habit, your brain will actually start to enjoy some peace and quiet and you will begin to look forward to mindful moments every day. Plus, your attention will grow stronger and you will be able to accomplish more and feel really good about yourself. This seems like a no-brainer to me. Why not start adding mindful moments to your day? You can begin with just a few breaths before joining your virtual meeting or before taking on a task that uses a lot of your mental or physical energy. Start managing your mindfulness with mindfulness. See what this can do for you and I'll See you next time.